What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. All right, let's dive into it. I'm gonna answer another question today. And this question is from Justin Gat, uh, Gatcomb. What's up, Justin? We talked before over the phone uh, a little while ago. The question is, Ramsey Dewey and Sensei Seth did a breakdown of martial arts that you should uh, partner together style, style, stylistically whoops, for MMA and I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, so Ramsey Dewey, I know who Ramsey Dewey is. I'm a big fan, his YouTube channel and uh, he, he has his school in, in, in Shanghai, China, right? So that's pretty cool. If you have your bases covered, so if you have your jujitsu, right? Your wrestling, your boxing and your Thai. What would be interesting in my opinion to add uh, as and when I'm saying my understanding here, if we're talking about martial arts, we're talking like traditional martial arts that aren't commonly uh, very well uh, practiced in, in MMA, right? Now, one of the things, if you guys looked at Khabib uh, Nurba Magomedov, <laughs> sorry, I pronounced it wrong, but you know, Khabib, like if you see a lot of the things he does uh, in terms of the sweeps, a lot of that comes from judo, guys or some would argue Sambo too, because he is a Samboist, but he does actually have a black belt in judo. Let me know guys, would you guys be interested in me watching videos and making breakdowns of fights, of uh, past fights that are, uh, you know, just really good fights, right? Let me know which fights you would actually want me to watch and break down, you know? If you see a lot of what Khabib does to take down people once he's up against a cage, a lot of it has to do with judo, like off balancing, the sweeps, the this, the that, the way he sets it up. For guys in MMA, like when, once they go up against the cage, all you, they just do the, the same old shit all the time. They try to go for the legs, they pressure them, they're high, they're low, you know, blah, blah, blah. but when you see Khabib do it, wow, it's amazing, you know? Um, so it's, it's definitely tools that you could add into your, your game. And of course, all the pros and everything, it makes you so much more um, effective, right? Because a lot of times, like if you can't, shoot that double, then if you have other tools to take the person down, awesome, it gives you an advantage. Now, another one that I would actually look into is Taekwondo. Taekwondo has amazing kicks. It just makes you a better kicker. It gives you uh, more tools, how to set it up, uh, you know, timing, coordination, speed, in terms of your kicks, adds another dimension to your kicking game. That'd be really interesting. And then, this is gonna be really interesting, or maybe controversial, or maybe some of you guys might not agree, but Wing Chun would actually be really interesting to look into and to tack on when you're close range, when you're up against the cage and you're hand fighting. Because you know, Wing Chun, there's a lot of sticky hands going on, there's a lot of intercepting, you know, ways of using your elbows, your shoulders, you know. Well, prior to, to lockdown, uh, I, was, uh, I was working with uh, one of my buddies and he's, he has like a, uh, I think a black sash in Wing Chun and in Kung Fu and in Taekwondo and anyways, and, and he understands grappling too because we, we, we grapple together. It's crazy the things he does, man. And it's, uh, it really opened up my eyes to like um, how these arts, these traditional arts have something very uh, special to offer, especially Wing Chun. I used to think Wing Chun was a load of shit, you know? Even though I understood that Bruce Lee actually came from there, but I still didn't really uh, think much of it because I didn't really uh, understood it, uh, see it for what it was. Pretty impressive if used appropriately at the right time uh, in the right context. So in my opinion, against the cage, because you don't want to be doing that like right in the middle of the cage. It, it's not going to work really. The guy's just going to, you know, like step away or, you know, like uh, circle around you and then you got to reset. Uh, you know, like John Jones uses his uh, shoulder. Conor McGregor did it in uh, the last fight against Cerrone. Let me know what you guys think below. So just to reiterate, Okay, you got the Wing Chun, right? That, I, that you could tack on. You got the Taekwondo, which I think would be really useful. And then you got your Judo for, for all the sweeps and all that. And of course the, uh, the throws, man. You know, like throwing is, uh, is fun. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.